Hey guys, welcome back to Buddy RC. My name is Clay. I am uh, new here, as you can tell. This is actually my first video working for Buddy RC, so bear with me. I'm still a little rusty, getting back into it. But today we are actually talking about the FPV 101 from First Step RC. This little thing is amazing. We have been flying it all through the office, as you can see, and I'm gonna put in some video here, uh, flying around the office, flying through the warehouse, and beating the crap out of this thing. Um, so, in the box, uh, you get your controller, the drone itself. You're gonna get one battery. You're gonna get an extra set of props, which is kind of nice. We haven't messed them up yet, so uh, we'll see what happens, but we have been beating the crap out of this, so I doubt you'll really need them, but they come in the package. Um, it comes with your uh, goggles. Um, these all, all three of these things, your charger for the battery, your controller, and your headset all charge off of USB-C. So you can just plug it right in, and you plug it into your computer, um, you could plug it, you know, into like a little brick and you're charging. You could charge up to three uh, batteries separately, uh, which is nice. So you just plug it in your USB-C, plug it in your computer or wherever, um, and you're off charging. It only comes with one battery pack. You will want to buy more because this thing flies so amazing. It also has an acro mode on it. It's got self-leveling. We'll get more into it here in a second, but I'll at least show you the head tracking first because this is probably my favorite part. All you need is this guy right here, which comes in the package. What you're going to do is you're going to plug it into the back side of your transmitter. Then you're going to come over here and you're going to plug it into the side of your goggles. It's just like a headphone jack, super simple. Um, so what you're going to do first is power on your goggles on a level surface, just like this. Should see a little light come on. All right, let's turn on, cool. And then as soon as that is on, you can turn on your transmitter. You do not need the drone powered up just yet, so we're gonna put that off to the side. So what you're gonna do first is on the uh, back side of the transmitter, you're gonna click the mode, hold it down for however long until you hear two beeps. So we got two beeps there. And then what you're gonna do is again, make sure this is on a level surface because this is the leveling of that. You're gonna press this button right here till we get a flashing light. So now you will plug in the drone and it will bind up. Now we're good to go. Um, so right now, I believe I'm in the one. Okay, so one is dual rates at the lowest possible amount. So it's how much the drone's gonna move. So if you look right a whole bunch, it's not gonna just pound on the ground. It won't do it anyway, because the self-leveling helps out a lot. But I'll at least show you guys so you can actually control your um, you control your elevator on this. So your forwards and backwards, you control that on the transmitter, but everything else is in the headset. So you'll hit your center button here to get it going and just look up. And look left, go right or left a little bit. It's super easy to do. Pretty dummy proof. Oh, that is the low battery warning. But you get the idea on how to do that. Uh, it also has a low voltage cutoff, as you can see. It is blinking, uh, telling you that the battery's dead, but it also tells you on your transmitter. Because when you're in FPV, you're not gonna be paying attention to this light. Um, so you'll know it's dying. Um, bring it on in. And if for any reason you need to rebind this, I'll go ahead and show you how to do it. It's super simple. So what you're gonna do is take your drone, plug it in, and you want your controller off for this, but you put it upside down and you shake it until you get the police lights, the blues and reds, like that. All right, so then you're gonna power on your transmitter and give it 
about a second or two and then you can press the little target button. I'm gonna call it the bind button right here. Hold it and now we are good to go. And you can take off. Also on the transmitter you can change the color of the LED that is on the drone itself. All you gotta do is press this button right here and there is a couple different colors you got. The purple is really cool uh, and the green is really cool. So they are uh, whatever color you want it to be so you guys can tell them all apart when you're flying a whole bunch didn't at once. This thing actually has a DVR in it, which is fantastic because this little thing, when you're flying it through your house, you're hitting all these crazy little, you know, pinholes that you're finding to run this little drone through. It is awesome. So uh, yeah, as you can see in some of the footage, this thing flies fantastic, but the head tracking is awesome. So um, the goggles are a little small for adults. That's my only complaint. What you could do is actually add a little bit of foam in here just to make it a little bit more comfortable for an adult, but it fits a child's head perfect. So um, you could just throw this on them, give them the transmitter and they're good to go. After you have it in the head tracking mode, you can just turn it off and it, it won't save it. So you'll have to do that every time you want to do the head tracking, but you can always refer back to this video. Um, on how to do that. So what we're gonna do now is just fly the drone normally. So what you're gonna do is power on your transmitter. You'll see the blinking light like that. Slow blinking light. You're gonna plug it in. You're gonna let it sit down, put it on a level surface, and now you're good to go. It starts off in one. So if you wanna go crazy with it, just press this until you hit three beeps. So we're gonna go back to one. I'm gonna show you how easy this thing is to fly. So we're gonna beat the crap out of it. I'm gonna show you. I mean, I'm going full stick. As you can see, nothing is happening. It is barely going anywhere. So I can bang the stick all around and it's not gonna fall out of the sky like a normal one would. So as you can see, it is a very stable drone. You let it sit there. Now you can get it to go a little faster by going up on the rates. So let's do that. Let's go into three to show you there is a high, medium, and low. Um, this is gonna be the high in the automatic leveling. Um, so it actually has altitude hold as well. So your stick at center stick is going to be hovering. So if you wanna go down, if you want the drone to actually go down, give it less throttle and it will just go down to the ground until it sees the ground and it will actually land itself, which is actually pretty cool. Um, so instead of just smashing into the ground by turning the throttle off, it will come down nice and slow, which is really nice if you haven't really landed in FPV because landing in FPV is pretty hard. So the cool part is, is you can actually fly this thing in auto level in level three. So level three is going to have the most angle out of all three levels. So you can go a lot faster, but let go of the sticks and it will just, it'll, you know, stick it and just whoop, hover right where you left off. So let's get it started and uh, take off. Here we go. So you can fly this thing pretty quickly. But again, like I said, you just let off. Now you will have to baby it a little bit because the rates are a little bit higher. But, I mean, I'm barely touching it. I mean, I'm flying with my fingertips. That's how easy this thing is. You just let go of the stick and you just keep on going. <laughs> As you can see, it is a very stable drone. Um, for the money, it is insane. So um, I'll put a little bit of flying footage on here. We're just flying it through the office and through the warehouse, beating up on it, I mean, we're hitting stuff with this and we have yet to break anything on it. So we've had it for about three weeks and it's very durable.
All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment uh, down below if you have any questions about anything shown in this video. Um, hit us up on our social medias, our Instagram, our TikTok, our Facebook. If you have any questions, hit us up on there. Um, and uh, I'm Clay Payne, and signing off.